Good morning, everyone. Today I will present, I'm Activia. Um, I am from the USA, but I currently live in Abu Dhabi. And today I will present on Teachers Need Support, Motivation and Empowerment, the Pandemic Edition. I ask that you please, please uh, participate. I do have a Padlet coming up soon, so get your phones ready to participate. Um, I wanted to start off um, with some quotes or some tweets that I saw on Twitter. And I wanted to read this to you to get your brains thinking as well. Um, some teachers put, I didn't put their names. I forget at times that what I'm doing is still crisis teaching during a global pandemic because the pressure to perform and teach well is so great and that's not healthy. I wonder how many teachers are close to breaking down or have broken down privately teaching in a pandemic. I've noticed a trend where school leaders downplay how stressed and overwhelmed teachers are. I think in order to stay positive, but I think we can't do that. We need to honor and name how hard this is and put all our focus into making this year sustainable. And so I wanted to open up to get you thinking about how are you feeling during this pandemic as educators? Um, I know it's, you know, we're in what October and we started back in March, but my, my topic today is how are you feeling? I want to check in on the teachers and I want to see how you are feeling. So if you can see the next slide, um, it is checking in. What are your thoughts about education since the pandemic started? Um, you can take a, a screenshot, hold your phone up to the QR and I have a Padlet available. Um, and if not, you can feel free to post on social media, but what are your thoughts about education since the pandemic started? I'm gonna give you maybe about two minutes to see, I'm gonna look at your responses to see how you're feeling and you can be quite open about how you're truly feeling right now. I left a quote, I don't think most people have any idea what teachers are going through right now. So I want to share this with you. I'll give you two minutes to see how you are doing. Oh, thank you. Somebody put, I feel empowered today. I don't think you can see the Padlet, but I can see it. Someone is feeling uh, empowered. And I'm just going to keep going um, and I will just click back throughout the session to see. Hopefully everyone has the QR code. If not, please let the host know and I will come back at the end. What I'll do is I'll see if I can get the link up, Tevi, and put it into the chat. Okay. Hold on. Ah, there you go. You popped it into the chat there. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so I am just, I'm going to discuss what we can do. And this is kind of like basically what the other presenters have said as well. The main thing we need is support, motivation, and empowerment. I've given some ideas off the top of my head as an educator, feel free to take a picture. You can use this at your school. You can add on to it. Um, but the main thing is support. And it goes back to building relationships and checking in often. What I have learned is that people, um, they're saying they're checking in, but I don't really think they're checking in. You know, you can say, hey, how are you doing? And you wait, no wait time. So really check in with your staff, check in with your teachers to see how they are doing. How are they, um, how are things going during this virtual experience? Because every day it's a different day. Every day is new. And I've been teaching for 16 years and um, this is my first experience, you know, and, and I will be open and transparent. Um, you know, I didn't go to college and university for this. I didn't, this is all new. And we all have to change our thinking at the blink of an eye and do what's best for our parents and, and do what's best for our students. But my question to the teachers, um, what's best for you? So we need support. 
We need motivation. Building morale at your school is really strong right now. And I know through social distancing and through, you know, maybe some teachers are virtually uh, at home virtually, we, the morale, where is the morale? You know, um, we might be at a new school and we don't know the new teachers. Can you imagine how the new teachers are feeling if they don't know like their staff? So, you know, it's things that we have to think about when we are teaching virtually and making sure that we are okay. Um, empowerment. Um, I'm big on journaling, journaling, having fun after school. When school is over, <laughs> I don't work. <laughs> I do not. When my time is over, I shut down and I hang out with people um, who are close to me. And it's really important when you're living abroad. Um, when you are living abroad, you need that community. You know, I do miss being home. And, you know, for me, I'll be honest, if I had a stressful day at work, I went to mom's house and had mom's cooking or I, I spent time with my best friends and at home. I don't have that here. So make sure that you have fun after school. Make sure that you are um, enjoying what you're doing after work. And then last thing I would say to empower yourself is voice your concerns. If you have a problem or if you're just not feeling well or there's a mental issue or you just your brain can't take it. Let your admin know, let your lead know, let someone know how you're feeling. I think this is very important in such a time as this, because I'll be honest, it's a different feeling. It's very stressful and it's a different feeling right now. So these are some strategies. If you would like to add more, take a picture um, and talk it over with your school, please, uh, please feel free. OK, here are some strategies for you. Quiet your mind, be physical, be still and tune into yourself. Read inspirational quotes, listen to special music, whatever it takes for you to just come to yourself after a long day of work, just to release the stress and to breathe. These are some tips and strategies that you can do. Quiet your mind. Do what it takes. If you have a family, go walking, do something, but just quiet your mind and be, be still and tune into yourself and reflect on your day. You made it. You survived it. We did it. And I'm pretty sure we're going to do it again <laughs> the next day. So these are some strategies that you can do um, to relieve yourself and relax after work. So how to coach yourself. So as I mentioned, I, didn't, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm sorry, but I'm also a certified life coach. And so what I've, I have done through my research is I'm learning to support educators in coaching. Um, if you want to know more about life coaching, feel free to reach out to me. But I am incorporating life coaching into education. So here are some ways that you can coach yourself um, to help you get through the pandemic, help you get through any stress that you're having at school. Believe in yourself. Create the life that you want. Um, you have results. And then from there, you can make a wonderful life. So um, I'm creating the life that I want. I have another business outside of school. So once I leave work, I focus on my business. Um, I am the designer of my own life. You know, what dreams do you want to manifest? Are you are you happy just being at school? Is this what you want to do? Is there something in school that you want to do? Do you want to start presenting one day for a conference? What dreams do you want to manifest? These are things that you can do to support yourself. You can also take a picture of this as well, and I can support you if you would like to um, change your beliefs or change your thinking as we're going through this pandemic. And I think the last one is really nice. We will find a way. I think that's the biggest thing we can say. We will find a way. And the result is let's do it. <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing that we can take away right now. Let's just do it. And I, I have a video for you and I hope this plays. I hope you can hear the sound. But this is something I would like for you to think about um, as you are just thinking of your ideas and thinking of ways that you can relieve your stress or get support um, in your school system or at home or af after school. I hope this video can help you think about some things. Please let me know if you cannot hear the sound. Can you hear the sound? No, we can't hear any sound, sorry.
No, we can't hear that. Sorry, Octavia. Just wondering what's happened with the sound. I think Octavia's sound has gone herself as well now. I think you might have turned your microphone off, perhaps. We can't hear you now, Octavia. Oh, that's because I was on. I was oh, no, muted. There you go. So. There you go. <laughs> so, so more about me. I am an educator of sixteen years. I'm a professional coach, and you can reach, uh, learn more about me at expiretocoach.com. And I will also put the link to the video if you would like to look at it in the comments. Thank you.